lot of things I can say thank you for. So, what if we have a parade? A parade of thanks! This is so exciting! But, a parade is a lot of work. There's so many things to do. Oh, I know! I can ask my mom to make some parade snacks! And, I can ask my sister to help with the decorations. My cousins can help with blowing up all the balloons. And I know my Uncle T can help with building the floats. He's such a great builder. I have a lot of people that can help. This parade is going to be so fun. Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Jayla. Who? Who? Planning a parade, are you? Oh, hi, Ollie. Yes, it's a super big job, but I have a family that can help. Family can be great. It's true. I know a family that helped each other, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Well, hello, friends. I'm Justin the Mailman. There is so much to be thankful for today. Look at this postcard I got from my nephew. He just learned how to write my name. I just love my family, which is what today's story is all about. Do you want to hear it? Great. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox.
Today's true story from the Bible begins with a woman named Naomi. Look at Naomi's face. Does she look happy or sad? Sad, that's right. Naomi was sad because her husband and sons had died and she was all alone. So Naomi decided to go back to the town where she grew up. But look, this is Ruth. Ruth was married to Naomi's son. Ruth said, I'm your family, Naomi. Wherever you go, I will go. Wherever you live, I will live. Wow, that's awesome. God gave Naomi family to help her. Thank you, God. Can you say that with me? Thank you, God. Naomi was so happy that she and Ruth were family and that she had someone to walk with her. When they got to the town where Naomi used to live, Ruth and Naomi took care of each other. They needed food because they were hungry, so Ruth went to go look for food to eat. Not far from where they lived, a man named Boaz had people working in the fields, gathering all the grain. The fields were like big gardens. As the workers picked the grain, they would leave some food for people who needed food. Ruth saw the grain and began to gather it up to take it home for her and Naomi to eat. Boaz saw her collecting food. When he found out that Naomi was a part of his family, Boaz decided to take care of Ruth and Naomi and make sure that they had plenty of food to eat. Wow! God sent more family to help. Thank you, God. Say it with me. Thank you, God. When Ruth went home to Naomi with good food to eat, Naomi was so thankful. Thank you, God. Say it with me. Thank you, God. God gives us people to call family. All families can take care of each other. Thank you, God, for giving us family. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who can you thank for everything? I can thank God for everything. Yes, it's true. Now, let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can you thank for everything? I can thank God for everything. That's the truth, friends. I'll see you next time. So there's your story, and it's all true. Naomi's family helped her, and we can be thankful for our families, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, Ruth helped Naomi, and then Boaz helped them both. They were thankful to God for their families. And we can be thankful for our families, too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. I'm so thankful to God for my family. I'm going to find them right now and start parade planning. See you next time. Bye!
say thanks. Don't be a turkey, just say thanks. Don't be a turkey, just say thanks. Be thankful in your heart for everything. Don't be a turkey, just say thanks. Don't be a turkey, just say thanks. Don't be a turkey, just say thanks. Be thankful in your heart for everything. Be thankful in your heart for everything. Be thankful in your heart for everything. Always give thanks to God. Ephesians 5.20 Always give thanks to God. Ephesians 5.20